In this video, we will explore which software to select for data from a particular database. So here, mostly, we have two common databases that we use, Web of Science and Scopus, but for medical, maybe PubMed is very important, but yeah, let's focus on these two for now, Web of Science and Scopus, and we... I have picked some top softwares here. There are many softwares, but some I'm mentioning here. And there are some limitations, like for instance, his site doesn't work with the Scoopus data. And then for Gephi, you have to prepare the data before you use Gephi. So there are some issues like that. And we show it in later videos, so you can see our later videos in the series to uh, how to convert data from ISI or Scoopus for Gephi format. So for simplicity, let's focus on this. Web of Science data can be used in bbxl his site boss viewer site space and site net explorer and and scoopus data can be used in bbxl boss viewer site space and site net explorer and the data from both of these databases can be used for gephi and pyek but that has to be processed through bbxl and it's kind of complicated with doing it with bbxl and and you can use NVivo for content analysis from the papers you get from any of these databases. It helps you to do the content analysis of the articles you find from these databases based on your criteria in your data quarantine process. So yeah. So I hope this helps and if you find it useful, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.